Hey guys, it's Caitlin with Hyo. Today, Chris Jostin, our Estherville, Iowa Terminal Manager, is going to show you the proper operation and controls of a Thermal King Reaper unit. As always, click the button below to subscribe and like this video. Hey guys, this is Chris. Today we're going to talk about our Thermal King Reaper units, the control panel, and the displays. We'll start out with the buttons here. Here's our on button, our off button. These are our soft keys that are going to help us go through our menus. This bottom button here is our cycle button. That switches between cycle sentry or start stop mode and continuous run mode. Right here is our manual defrost button. We would press that if our unit is having trouble keeping temperature. We'd press this, it would run through a preset cycle and then hopefully our unit would be holding temperature again. On our display here, the smaller number is our set temp. The larger number is our actual box temp. And this little indicator right here, you notice matches this button. That's saying that this unit is in start stop mode. Now the other thing I want you to see is up here, is our indicator light. If you see that white T, that means everything is good. If that switches to an orange K, that's telling you that there's a problem. So now we'll come back here and we're gonna change our set point. As you see right now, we're set at 53 degrees. I'm gonna press our menu button, find set point, press that button there. And then we can either go up or down. We're gonna go down and we're gonna press yes. So that's programming our new set point. As you can see, our new set point is 52 degrees. Our actual box temp is 53 degrees and we're in start stop mode. Now I'm gonna generate an error code so I can show you how to clear it. I'm going to, this is one of the most common error codes we get actually is set point not set. So I'm gonna change my set point. You see I changed that to 52 degrees but I'm gonna forget to actually hit okay. Right here, I didn't hit okay. So if we watch up here, that, orange, that white T turns to an orange K. We get an alarm code right here that tells me I should check this out. So I'm gonna press menu. I'm gonna scroll down until I find alarms. I'm gonna press select. I'm gonna check what that alarm is. Now this one says alarm 127, which is set point not entered. I know that that was my mistake, so I'm gonna clear it out. I just simply press this button, it says clear. It says clearing alarm 127. You notice the orange K turned to a white T. Now this says no alarms, I can hit exit. Exit again, and we're back to where we were. This is the basic operation and control panel of our Thermo King units. If you have any other questions, don't be afraid to reach out to your safety or maintenance department. We'll be glad to help you. 